Hey, it's Mr. Random Pond Culture News Freak here once again. Again, Mr. My name is Lane. As a restaurant torches channel. On my social media is like Twitter, Instagram, or Twitter X. Links to all the AOL symbols and of course all the hashtags and scores about down below if you want to check those out yourself in your own personal time. I know I'm like four and a half, five days late by the time I do this. I was supposed to do this Monday, but I'm doing this literally late on Tuesday night. So I'm very, very late on this thing. I know. Just in case you guys don't believe me. During recording this video, playing some old school Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess boss music thing, so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. So, without further ado, um, there's two other ones I'm going to talk about real quick. This one, The Last of Us 2, there's an official freaking trailer for this thing that literally just came out half a day ago, 15 hours ago almost. But, <laughs> let's see if I can try to do the action out, because I know Squid Games that came out with something nice, and the hell of a boss last week for this Saturday. You have like a little four and a half, five minute short. So that's like three videos I'm going to react to all at once. It's going to be a very, very extremely busy week there for me. So this comes from, um, I haven't read this one in a really long time, The Escapist. Better give credit to Liam Nolan. His Dr. Disrespect. The internet will never forget your fix. Yeah, when you forget, fix your real threat. Dr. Disrespect returns to social media. Following the big scandal. So I know I'm a little late on this. I know it's way, way late. It's almost a week old, but I still jump on this bandwagon big time because people roast the shit out of this dude guy being. And he's better known as Mr. Dr. Disrespect. My dude's a six foot eight, six foot nine. He's a giant compared to me. I'm only six zero. I mean, without my shoes, I'm like five eleven, so <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a midget, but I am kind of a small person compared to that dude. He's way taller than me, but anyways. Oh, yeah, there's one other news story I might talk about. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on that. I might. I might talk a little bit about it because it's ridiculous as hell. I'm surprised this billion dollar, trillion dollar actor, producer, director, scriptwriter, Michael Bay is even doing this because this is wild. I thought it was fake news. It was almost three weeks old, but I still need to talk about it too. So, all the BS out the way, let's truly get into this news article. Once again, the credits of Liam Nolan, the one that made this thing. I was stalling and BSing, and <laughs> I know, it was an idiot thing for me to do. It's one of those VTubers from back in the day, I saw three years ago. Very, very bad actually. I'll leave a link to her scuff down below. Now, without all the stalling, it's truly, really good to do this dude. Dude's all, Dr. Disrespect, aka Guy Herschel Bean, has returned to social media a little bit more than a month after the scandal, which he admitted sending inappropriate messages to unfortunate minors. On Twitter X, um, Dr. Disrespect posted a picture of one person's self playing chess and others playing checkers. He did not provide a caption for the image, which was on his first post on the platform since June, so a month and almost one week ago now, since uh, June 25th of this year. It is not immediately clear whether his intentions were for this picture or what have you. And that's probably way, way higher than that. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Anyways, um, however, Dr. Disrespect did not respond to several other comments, people in the comments, after being called a, quote, grapeist, I don't have to say that, grapes. In the image post, one of the YouTube featuring Toku, extremely responded, quote, so, I'm saying, I never know if it's a body count or the real person's responding to shit, but you know what it did was dis disingenuous, disgusting, scummy little bullshit there. No, you know what it's This quote, little brainwashed. <laughs> Ooh, Rogue Boy putting out DBZ GFX with Kendrick Lamar Lions got me big time, quote. Another person said, from what I heard, says, quote, Is this you playing with a minor? Wow, that's bad. He then replied, Good once she heard the internet will never fix your real threat, depression. Oof. Roasting him on the thing there. <laughs> Whatever. And now uh, let's continue forward. In general, the post ended up proceeding, proceeded to dunk him back for disrespect before bringing the scandal and to the accusations against him. The scandal itself saw Dr. Disrespect being accused of having sent inappropriate messages to a minor or the Whisper feature on the Twitch chat. A former employee of the streamer platforms and reportedly led to him getting banned by Twitch. In a post of the subject, the streamer said, quote, Were there Twitch Whisper messages in the individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind the messages? The answer is absolutely not. There were casual, mutational conversations that sometimes lean too much into that direction. 
being inappropriate. As a guy being Herschel Walker talking now. Okay, Dr. Spikes. Move on. But nothing more, nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared, no crimes were committed. I never even met that individual on quotation marks. Alright. Oh, this is what he said earlier. You guys can read the rest of the if I remember to leave the link to the Twitter X post. I don't know. Uh, it says Twitch brand, hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut to the fucking bullshit. As most of you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been up front real with you guys on anything but possibly about I'm always willing to accept my responsibilities. There's more to that if you want to look at it down your own self. Let's continue on the last two posts. This is a lot faster than I thought. Wow. Almost six minutes. Later in the post, the streamer said, quote, I'm taking an extended vacation with my family. As mentioned on the stream, I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right, unquote. In the aftermath of the scandal, Dr. Disrespect on YouTube was demonetized, and he lost several brand partnerships. I remember one of them, I think, was the NFL American San Francisco 49ers, the football team. That was probably the worst one he lost. But in my personal great opinion on that, let's move on. It has nothing to do with this video. <laughs> he was among any of the other things, including a move for NBA 2K24. Wow. And dropped by Midnight Society. The game studio he co founder we were somebody who had many experience with being experienced of, can't say that word, say graping. I ain't have sources that can help, which you can find here. And thoughts, there's opinion, speculations, except before I say it again, <clears throat> it's a mess up because it's way out there in the open whether he did it or not. It's a fortune. I can't even say allegedly anymore. It's pretty much almost proof out there. This man, this absolute freaking disgusting ass scumbag of a little piece of shit motherfucker. Decided to try to start grooming and talk to underage little kids about real nasty, disgusting ass shit. I'm like, bro, there's posts all over there in Red and Fortran. I could share with me. I know it's way too lazy to show it, anyways, but once again, there's just some people just having a power dynamics. It's just really, really bad. And they're screwing up the whole freaking thing for a whole bunch of Twitch streamers and TikToks and Instagrams, YouTubers, and their social media people that. I'm trying to do good and happiness and positive, good vibes, good energy in the world. Just do fucks it all up. It's extremely sad, pathetic, and absolutely spineless, cowardly fucking behavior in my personal opinion. A man to be burrs in prison for 50, 60 years in my opinion. Life in prison straight up and lock away third rate damn fucking kid. Cause that's way fucked up what he did there. It's absolutely god off fucking disgusting. Absolutely sick in the head. Any individual that does that, they should be Throwing my best in it, to my opinion. I don't care if that's right. Fucking too harsh or too cold blooded, but that's how I feel in the situation. I'm somebody that doesn't even have children. If I had children, future son or future daughter, going hell. I don't want any of them to be inspired by the social media influencer that's trying to do messed up, fucked up crap on that shit. It's no good. Anyways, enough of that. This one's the funny thing out of this. <laughs> oh, top of my ear. Three and a half weeks ago, it's from Rebecca Alter from Vulture Rizzler. Michael Bay is making, oh Jesus, this is so insane. They're making an actual little skibbity toilet cinematic universe movie. It's happening. It's insane because how the hell is he going to even do this, man? Because I remember like last year in the show, man, they got to give the credit to two of my dudes. I think it was next tackle, Nito, or AK, someone in gamers. And he's the one that told me about this shit last year, November, December. I was like, the hell is this shit? I don't know anything about it. It's more like Gen Alpha humor. So I had no idea this was even a thing at all. I thought it was really, really funny as fuck, but at the same time, it's literally brain rot for Gen Alpha. Man. So I know one of my nieces or nephews out there are probably watching this all day and they're rotting the shit out of their brain badly. Nah, it's extremely sad, man. It really is. It's heartbreaking as hell. And this is the same dude they made the live action version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The first one's good, the second one's shut. All four of the Transformer live action movies that he did. The one after Mark Wahlberg though wasn't crazy about Transformers 5. That shit bored the hell out of me, dude. But part 6 was a lot better. The Rise of the Beast shit that came out last year. <clears throat> he knocked that shit all apart. I'm not sure if it was Michael Bay that made it or somebody else. Oh, it was really, really good. The one that made it was Steve Arnaz's film Magic. I'm just going to read a little bit of it. 
Armageddon Transformers director Michael Bay is set to collaboration with them. <laughs> this feels like fake news. It feels like it's fake, defake AI, chat, GPT shit making us up. But it's 100% confirmed. I'm surprised they didn't do a Paramount Nickelodeon cartoon first before they went straight to a live action. Movie. That's wild as hell. You're in a bigger direction, new cinematic universe. That's right. You see now, but. <laughs> Alex Garamosia. Hold up. He didn't know how to name Alex Garamosia, the Georgian, and the country. Not the state. Filmmakers are one of the most popular creations of contemporary digital space, making the guys in the skibbity. So, oh my god. That's so crazy. Absolutely instructable machinima web series about a race of toilets with long necks, bug eyes, heads popping out of them. Gurmeshivas? Hopefully, saying it right. Gurmeshav or Gurmeshvivav? Has released 76 episodes from the fuck booms. YouTube channel, 43 million subscribers. Wow. That's crazy. This is, um, Toilet Territories of the Big Leads of Toilets Freaks Like Mr. Beast. That's what's up. I'm not that much I could say on it. The one thing I will say is this, is that, oh lord, I'm surprised, man. We are literally in big fucking trouble. If this is what freaking entertainment is in 2024, bro, I don't know how they're going to do it. I literally have no idea how he's going to do the CGI. Is he going to do it in, like, a mass seat in GI? Is he going to do it in, um, claymation? Or is he going to do it in, um, he can do it claymation, or he's going to do it in fucking, I don't know. I don't know. It would be funny if they did it in <laughs> 2D from back in the day, like 90 shit, but they didn't do that anymore. And then some other stuff, I didn't even know this is really fake news too, but I found that, I know I said I was going to talk about two years ago, the other guy, XQC, was going to talk no more drama bullshit on the dude, but him and freaking Adrian Ross are going to do an interview with the old former president of the United States, the Orange Man, aka better known as Donald Trump's, or I call him Bagel Boy Dracula Trump. <laughs> and like I said before at the beginning, I'm not talking about Democrats, Republicans, Liberals. To me, they're all full of garbage. A lot of them lie, bullshit, deceit. A lot of them are either the small hat people are paying for them, World Economic Forum, the WHO's paying for them, or the UN, EU's paying for it, or it's BlackRock or the Knights Templar is probably what's paying for both sides. They're both getting money out of someone. It's either from fucking Europe or the small hat people are giving them millions and billions and trillions of dollars to either become the president of the United States or just pretend that they lost, in my personal opinion. And the fuck you see this dude? <laughs> fucking Aiden Ross, out of all people, is doing a freaking <laughs> interview with Donald Trump. Oh my god, I feel like I'm living in clown world. I'm, I gotta be taking fucking crazy pills with that. Because the only two things I need this dude is big on is playing the WNBA 2K24, 2K25 games, having beef bullshit with a lot of Twitch streamers and Instagrammers and TikTokers and stuff. And he's trying to be all these red pill fools like Sneeko. That's all he was. He was just a fucking joke. And now he's talking to big time people like those and JD Vance. A lot of them are the small hat people, bro. That's all yeah. It's not me being anti schematics. I'm just saying, that's all guys are from. I'm out of here. That's it. I'm done with the shit. I'm out. Hopefully, I get to do a Last of Us freaking reaction review this Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe all the way Friday, Saturday, who knows? And that's it. Talk to you guys soon. Take it easy. Stay safe. Um, say your safe. I'm out. Later. Take it easy, everyone. Stay soon. Um, more future commentary videos. I'm